What's good, my fellow introverts? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mina here, back with another commentary video, guys. I'm here with the final episode of Bridgerton, season two, episode eight. Guys, I'm excited. Last episode we had a big climax. Everything came to. There was a lot to uncover, discover, both literally and metaphorically. <laughs> Um, Anthony and Kate, because I remember her name now, finally got together. They finally found love within each other, and it's it's getting intense, guys. Definitely a very intense scene between the two, and very enjoyable. And guys, I don't even really want to speak on it too much because I really am curious as to what is going to happen. Penelope also destroyed her pen. She's over Miss <laughs> being Lady Whistledown and uh, her persona she had to hurt Eloise in order to ensure Eloise didn't get in trouble with the queen because the queen thought Eloise was Lady Whistledown so that's that's too that's the core stuff of everything oh and of course at the end of the the episode Kate is now concussed she fell off her horse and Anthony was witness to that because he was there to propose of course as Anthony does, rash and impulsive decisions as, as always. But I guess <laughs> he's in love. He laid with her. He did the nasty. So he's like, I have to marry her now. I think he wants to. It's not just like have to. He he loves her. So it's gonna it's gonna be a very good episode, I think. I wanna jump right in. But of course, as always, I wanna remind you guys to head on over to the book to demand.com. It's an awesome book recommendation website there with awesome book recommendations and book reviews. Guys, make sure you check that out. And if you subscribe to the books to demand.com, you get 50% off meaning the introvert store on Etsy. I cater to my fellow introverts, anime lovers, and of course course my book lovers guys make sure you check it out and stick around till the end of the video i have a promo from barnes and nobles i know that if you click the link to that promo and you buy something just know i will be able to get a commission from that because i am an affiliate marketer and yeah that's it for this intro it's time to get into the finale i'm ready this one is called the vice count who loved me okay okay Oh, it's long. It's a long episode, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, immediately. Back where we, the last episode ended. Okay. Why is this coming off? Come on. Oh! She's bleeding. Oh my God, Kate! Call the surgeon at once. The surgeon? God damn. <laughs> she has a cut from the back of her head. I kept pressure on it, but it needs stitching. Okay, that's why a surgeon is coming. Is she alright? I don't know. Are you alright? Oh, she's like, I've been so horrible to my sister, now she's gonna die. It's my fault. Nigga, how is your f What? How is it your fault? Get him out of the room. He's just overcome. <laughs> this is my new favorite word. I'm so. I'm sorry. Brilliant. You, you take too much. You take too much. You blame yourself for everything. Perhaps she had nothing more to say about that radical ruffian, Eloise Bridgerton. <laughs> you there. What have you done with our scandal sheet? Nothing today, sir. Who? The guys are addicted. Ma, I wish to visit Eloise. It has been a week. You will not set foot into that household. Do you understand me? So where are we with uh, Mr. Bridgerton? We're close. I'm set to meet with him this afternoon. Very well. Helen's going to find out and she's going to expose her own family, as she should. Lord Featherington and I would like to give a ball. Yeah. So that we may finally celebrate our engagement. So that we may finally celebrate all of us. <laughs> and we will call it the Featherington Ball. Oh my god. So original. <laughs> so original. Miss Sharma is yet to awaken from her accident. Oh, she's in a coma. Perhaps we should not make jest of a family at a time like this. Invite them all. They likely will not come, of course, but let everyone be allowed to finally see how well we're doing. <laughs> After such a tragic year. Ah, oh, it's time to pick up your pen, pen. <laughs> do not take note of staff changes, brother. And what about our accounts? You apparently do not seem to take note of them either, since I spent the last two days balancing our books, only to discover that you seem to have taken out a rather large sum. Oh? Is no one in this family allowed to make their own decisions? You, keep your doodling. 
No. And do not ask me to speak of your activities. I would not know where to begin. Oh! Can I be excused? I must go too. I have my Latin. Oh, not against. Be a little harsh, Anthony. A little harsh. Oh. How is she? I do not know. I have not. You have not been to see her? It has been a week. Have I not made it clear that I've been busy? Oh, he's breaking down a little. Oh, my poor baby. <laughs> I do not have time for this. He's shaking. Like, literally. He's a leaf. Perhaps you might wish to make time. Miss Eloise, a package for you. Oh, I do not want You to. might want this one. Oh. I'll be outside. Oh. He's a real one. <laughs> yeah. Read it, loud and clear, for the class. Oh, is this for Penelope? From Penelope. I don't know. I don't know if this is from him. It seems likely. I, I'm not sure. I did not want her to see the two of us together. I did not want her to write cruelly of you. A little late for that. I owe you an apology, Miss Bridgerton, for everything. Whistledown's now taken her business elsewhere. Thought you deserved to know the truth. I deserve more than that. Oh, you do. An apology. The manuscripts came early mornings. Twice a week, usually. Do you have the wrapping they came in? They never came in wrapping. They came sewn into silks. I was pleased to receive your in What is she snorting? What is that? It looks like cayenne pepper. <laughs> is she snorting cayenne? <laughs> we have all been busy keeping the elder Miss Sharma in mind until, as we hope, she recovers from her fall. Of course. Of course. I shall send a few necklaces <laughs> to express my sympathies. That is kind of you. It's not a problem. <laughs> I love the relationship. Lady Whistledown had a monopoly on such uh, speculations, did she not? Uh, perhaps it would do us all some good to find new interests. See, Lady Whistledown had kept her entertained and in the know-how. So then, where are these mines exactly? Well, I hesitate to say the exact location. I would not want other prospectors taking over nearby, as you can imagine. Mondrich! Pleasure. He can't help but interfere. The man is a swing. I beg your pardon, Mondrich. It is a trait he seems to share with his late cousin, someone I myself became involved with and whose unscrupulous actions I once mistakenly condoned. The Featheringtons are a fine family whose reputation has been most unfairly traduced. I would be very careful of the accusations you make in future, as it hardly seems you can afford to drive away any more patrons. Oh, Colin, you're too eager. Colin, this is a friend. This is a family. You know him. What's the hit? What's the beef? Penelope is going to hear. I, I'm, I'm you may have allowed me to come into my bedchamber, my lord, but that does not mean you can just burst in unannounced. Oh, she likes that. Oh. <laughs> A, a tizzy. We have been efficient, an excellent team. We can always make trips to visit the wealthy families in the countryside. Meanwhile, the families here will begin asking for a return on their investments before long, and then well, this whole thing falls apart. It's already falling. We leave London. Oh. Oh my gosh. Penelope, are you going to the Americas? You do know that America has no royalty. You could be their queen. Oh my god. So manipulative. Don't fall for it, sis. You're too smart for that. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, <laughs> it was a puckering. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I am pretty sure she is the comedic relief. She, she is. Because the <laughs> Killed me. Took me out. <laughs> you must not leave me like that. We have to. Please. Edwina. Oh. Mama! Lady Danbury, make haste! Oh my god, is she pregnant? <laughs> Been like a week, but she could be. I don't know where that talk came from. Did Lord Bridgeton come to see me? He? 
that he rescued you in the park. Gallantly, in fact. He brought you back here several days ago. He hasn't been here since, though, so you know. He is just trying to keep busy. Doing what? You have nothing to do. She's awake. Mrs. Wilson heard from one of the maids. <laughs> oh. Oh, God. He was so scared. Just to marry her. Oh, God. I'm so sorry that it was you who was with your father that day. I am sorry for everything that happened in the days that followed. If I could go back and change, that you have no idea how much I wish I could change everything. I'm glad they're having this talk. It was needed. Oh, something positive, please. No, oh, Anthony. Losing Edmund was the most difficult time of my life, and the pain that I felt. Mm hmm. Something positive. Thank you. Come, give it, give me something. Give him something. Yes, yes. Torture, sorrows, sorrows. But there is one thing that has given me at least some modicum of solace. Okay, good. It's knowing. It's knowing. That I would still choose the life I led with him each and every time. Thank you. Beautiful. And I would undoubtedly feel the same pain I felt all over again if I had to. Because real, true love is worth it. No. It's worth it. I was every time. Ah. <laughs> what are you doing here on your own? I thought you did not care for Vitmore. I'm not here for dresses. I should, however, like to dress you down. Oh. <laughs> Says Gizmo. Your business prospered after she wrote Miss it. Miss Eloise, it would be foolish of me to be engaged with such a scandalous person. Oh, scandalous person. She didn't even look up in Ellaby. I realise you are not to be seen with me, but if you could spare me just one moment. Eloise. The print shop where Theo works was in fact Whistledown's. She's going to confess. Your family are already in a great deal of trouble. You've been consumed by thoughts for, for far too long. First you love her, then you hate her. It is enough. I cannot, I do not want to hear about it anymore. This scandal of yours will soon pass. I look forward to the day when things will return to how they used to be between us. <sighs> She's grasping. Remarkable. I should think it's your best work to date. Well, perhaps we have all earned a drink. Are they going to steal his work? Because I really hope they don't. Your brother's large donation to the Academy. It's what secured your place. Oh, I Anthony. Ah, uh, this is a fight. He did it out of love. And support. <sighs> oh my god, I hope this goes well. I hear it was you who found me and brought me home safe. I suppose I must be grateful for our very first race in the park. If it were not for that fateful moment. Thank you for the flowers. She, I don't think she will want to do it. Get married because, yet. I came to apologize yes, and to that. ask you to marry me. I'm here. What are you doing? I'm what asking are you? No, I, my lord, I, I do not need you to ask me anything at all. Kate. I'm returning to India. Because what was this? What was this proposal? Anthony, you could do so much better than this. And what of your family's financial Lady affairs? Lady Danbury has kindly to... offered to sponsor my mother and sister for another season. I'm certain they would do perfectly well on their own, as it is clear I am of no help. Don't give up. <sighs> Anthony, first of all, it was rushed. Do better. <laughs> and give me a better proposal immediately. Think it up now. Grand gesture. It doesn't have to be grand, but grander. If Madame Delacroix is involved, she will never admit it. Yet another clue that will only lead no. Oh, <laughs> not bothering yourself. Eloise! Eloise is completely in love. Forgive me. She just can't do it. She's still a lady. 
she can't just be kissing boys. And I think what Penn said got through to her. It's absurd. Slightly. I would never. No, this, this whole thing, it is, it is absurd. I, and, and I'm sorry for wasting your time. Oh my God. I could not live with myself if you are the one who has to face the consequences. I should have known. It's all right, Miss Bridgerton. You dipped your toe into my waters trying to make yourself feel better about the unearned advantages of your birth. I mean, damn if she do, damned if she don't. You just, you, you just hurt right now, so I guess. God. The only way Penelope could redeem herself after that is if she ruins her own family, so. When you were unwell, all I cared about was you getting better. But now that you are, I do have questions. Get a tea, sis. What do you like about him? What do you love about him? All I could think of is how I do not even know you. Nor do you know yourself. I want to know myself truly and to know who you are too. Because I am unsure I like the young ladies we have both been playing. Hmm. They might switch roles. So the sister, elder sister's gonna get married even though she wanted her freedom. And little sis might go on to, you know, find herself on her own for a little while. Whatever action you now wish to take, I only hope it is because you are being truthful to yourself. And not because of anyone else. Oh, this is a brother sister moment between Benedict and Eloise. I love this. these moments. I truly do not want to go to this dreadful ball tonight. Even if I know Penn will be there, she finds me quite foolish too at present. Would you like a companion? What? Of course I would not, because I'm apparently free. No. I love their relationship, it's awesome. It makes sense. Brother? Okay, unexpected <laughs> interaction. I cannot sleep. Is something wrong? My Latin teacher believes so. He yelled at me. Thinks I am stupid. Oh, he just want to talk. Let's see. This is the youngest. I think I thought it was a girl. This is the one. I asked too much of him and of you and of everyone, really. I think. <laughs> My memory is so trash, I swear. Am I like him at all? He was, um... Yes, feelings. It's okay. You can feel them. He wants to put glue in Benedict's shoes. <laughs> I wish I could have played a prank on him. Oh, this is sad. <laughs> I do not know much about him at all. That is because I have shown up far too late for far too many things. Hmm. No! Oh, Anthony Growth! Ah! Love this for you. It's good for a laugh, of course, but. Oh my god! <laughs> this is so sweet. And never afraid to fight not just for his family, but for everything else, too. Yeah, let's let's emulate that, Anthony. Come, let's go. Get Kate. Get the woman of your dreams. Is that Lily's? I don't. <laughs> I don't know plants. I'm sorry. <laughs> you took me in as your own, and you never treated me any differently. Everything I I did, I owed it to you. You owed me nothing. Oh. <sighs> this love the familiar bonds that just, you know, cementing. <laughs> He was going to ask me to marry him. And I could not allow it, Mama. <laughs> he was going to ask me out of mere obligation, some misguided notion of duty after the two of us. Oh! Oh, she like, oh! <laughs> he does not love me, Mama. Girl, girl, he... Girl! He loves you. Listen, just lust? Sis, this is an obsession he has with you. Come on now. Who's hosting this? The Featheringtons? I don't have any money right now? And she went all out. This ball is truly my crowning achievement. Oh god. 
Yeah. She got. <laughs> she like, yeah, bitch, it's me. Wife had his lady friend in a closet, apparently, for 20 minutes. If you can believe it. She's like, oh my god, I don't do this anymore. This addiction. It's a gossip. <laughs> did not take it well, but I think it was a necessary choice. Hello, Thank you for protecting me. You are a true friend. Oh, God. That's not what she needs to hear right now. I hear he recently spent a good deal of time with Miss Goring in a closet. Where did you hear that? Miss Goring is over there, alongside the lemonade table. See oh, what's this? You're outing yourself right now. What a keen observation, then. <laughs> Not realization. Ooh, gorgeous. Might we take to the dance floor? They cannot possibly say anything about us that we have not heard before. And should your brush with death not be our best social capital yet? Yep. That's right. I enjoy that beautiful necklace you're wearing. A gift from Lord Featherington. Does they? Except the clasp is broken. Is it? Might I mend it for you? Oh, he's gonna check it. Okay. I was worried for a little bit. Um, Colin got his, his shit together. And Penelope is, as always, is in the corner jealous. But you know. Oh! She's like, this is my moment. <laughs> it's not. It is out of concern. For their reputation alone that I will only address this matter in private. But I expect you to return all of the funds you have collected and leave town at once. Oh, she's gonna throw him under the bus. She's like, oh. That's much too soon, my lord. And what about my young ladies? We shall send for them after. After? After what? Well, they can... She's like, yeah, this is my kids. She has scheme and hope, but I think she loves her children, her daughters. Oh, he's so manipulative and scheming. Oh, get away. Don't give in to this. You're so evil, sis. What about your young ladies? I think she knows. You did it with your husband. Get it together. You know this shit. You will never be led by a man. If your cousin does not return the money and leave your family alone, I will have another thing to say to you. I cannot thank you enough for looking after us. I will always look after you, Penelope. Penelope. Oh. oh God, her dreams. <laughs> this is what Penelope dreamed about. Like asleep and awake. You will not be able to avoid him all night, BB. And you should not attempt to. At least not on my behalf. Because she's settling. Thank God. Be unafraid to follow your heart after doing the exact opposite for far too long. You have spent so much of your time shining your light on me. It is time for you to shine all on your own. Oh, yeah, support between the sisters. Sisters before misters. Oh, he was waiting. My God. Perhaps the spectators might take pity on me. I was on the dance floor days after a terrible injury to the head. Perhaps I needed someone to steady me. You were the first person I found. Oh, that's a smile. Oh, I'm trying not to pause. This is trying not to pause challenge right now. <laughs> In all their moments, I, I just have to accept it. Is this Wrecking Ball? Have we done Wrecking Ball before? I think we have. In Br in Bridgerton, I'm not sure. Oh, everyone's seeing. Do you want to stop? Just keep looking at me. No one else matters. <sighs> My hand is trying to go to the pause button because I'm getting overwhelmed. <laughs> She's like, oh, <laughs> how amusing. Is that why the sister's wedding was abandoned? No oh, child, no. That wedding did not happen because I simply changed my mind. Oh! In fact, Lady Whistledown must have somehow missed. I think they look beautiful together. 
Beautiful indeed. Oh, I brush it off. I brush it off. Yeah, yes. <laughs> That's right. Have I yet told you about my nephew? He is a prince. And he is available. Oh no, this should get me on vocals. <laughs> Y'all are close. Oh, it's attention for me. Oh God. Oh, oh, she's so entertained. Do you know what love look like? She's been there. Eloise is in her room. Eloise has found it all. Oh, all that joy is about to falter, wither away. Oh, shit. Did you get hold of this money? Eloise, what are you doing going through my thing? Answer me. Well, I knew it was coming. Hearing you repeat all that gossip tonight it struck me. You might have said those kinds of things before, but tonight was the first time I, in fact, heard you say them. It sounded so familiar. It sounded written, almost. Why do you think that is? <coughs> How you were one of the only people who could have known about Miss Thompson's pregnancy. Louise, you cannot possibly... And then I thought about how you said people have been talking about me and Theo. Louise, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, you were right about all of it. I was trying to protect Is you. Is that what you were doing? Oh. You have no idea how horrible it's felt to keep this from you. For so long, Whistledown has been all I have had and I have given it up. I do not even know you. I mean... <laughs> Sequestered here in this very room, writing your secret little scandal sheet, tarnishing everyone in town all because you are too scared to stand up for yourself in reality. Well... An insipid wallflower indeed. All you ever do is talk about doing something. But what do you think that makes you? It's a big fight. I wish never to see or speak to you again. I mean, y'all are neighbors, so I don't I don't know. Unless she does go to America. Eloise destroyed that room. She was like, where does this bitch have? <laughs> where is it? I gave. A memorable farewell party for you. <laughs> she said goodbye. That's right. You're leaving alone. Never you? touch me again. Portia, we are a team. No, no, no. Well, they are three young ladies, often nettling and contrary, but they are mine. And it's clear to me that you do not care about them at all. So I'm sending you away with your favorite person, yourself. Yes. Come on now. Oh, who's going to believe that? Oh. The Tom, of course, will be infuriated to discover that you've run away with all the money that you tricked out of their trusting hands. Yeah. You are cruel. I am a mother. That's right. I knew from the moment he was like, um, what? You could come for come back for them after. She was not here for this. She's vain, yes. And she's manipulative, yes. And she's an asshole. Yes. But she loved her kids. She loved she loves them. You could tell she had feelings for him though. But as mothers do, they put their kids first. Interesting. You're courting the girl, Bridget. Uh, are you mad? I would never dream of courting Penelope Featherington. Not in your wildest fantasies, Fife. <laughs> and there that is. Paint. It is one of your many talents. Your natural gift for seeing what others need, even when they cannot see it themselves. It is a gift it has taken me far too long to recognize, but I would not have done if it were not for you. Oh, Anthony and all this growth. I'm loving it. Ugh, the world has gone to shit, honestly. I was fearful of losing you. It is why I could not visit you after your accident. I love you. 
Oh, my God, yes. I've loved you from the moment we raced each other in that park. I've loved you at every dance. Every time we've been together and every time we've been apart, you do not have to accept it. You do not have to embrace it or even allow it. Knowing you, you probably will not, but you must know it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Wow. Oh, stop. Yes. I know I am imperfect, but I will humble myself before you because I cannot imagine my life without you. And that is why I wish to marry you. Oh my God! <laughs> yes, Anthony! Yes. No, this is a proposal. <laughs> I mean, it's a public party though. Can we do this here? I know you all plan to wed. Oh, <laughs> I'm happy though. <laughs> that silence Ooh. can wield more power than words. Penelope's voice. I'm in your debt now, Mr. Mondridge. Oh, your sleeves up, Will. Yay. It is in silence where one may find truth. All one has to do, I suppose, is listen for it. I wonder if she's going to take over narrating. I'm going to miss it. Not the boys, but now with Penelope's identity revealed to at least Eloise, maybe that's that's why it's just this episode. Inspiration. Let her take. Oh, she's back. There is one thing you should know by now. It is that this author cannot keep quiet for long. Yours truly, Lady Whistledown. God, is this how it ends? Give me a wedding. Oh, okay. The honeymoon is fine as well. <laughs> Viscountess, you seem to have done yourself. You do know her duties are particularly important to me. Oh, who? <laughs> seems so girl. Guys! <laughs> I love this for them. <laughs> I love this for them. Ooh, Anthony is head over heels right now. Right, we've all picked, but left the mallet of death. Oh, you should. I don't know where Edwina went. He is. No time. I presume that means the game has finally started then. <laughs> oh, Anthony, it's their dog now. <laughs> I suppose that means they are cutting out. No, 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 no we're not, not cutting out. I just want to take this opportunity to return upstairs and admit defeat. Oh, never. <laughs> oh, I'm in love with this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Daphne is so pleased for him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's suppression. This is what becomes of it. Oh my god, yes. Yes, devour each other's faces. I'm here for it. <laughs> no, is that the end? No. Uh, it was so awesome though. It's so amazing. <laughs> well, guys, the finale. It was amazing. It was amazing. Love that that Anthony had so much growth. I love that he like he thought he thought about his actions towards his siblings and what he's done for his family and if it ever really benefited his family. He meant well, but you know, it, I think this is a saying all good intentions are um oh I say it backwards. The road to hell is paid with good intentions, right? So I think in Anthony's case, it was something like that. So seeing him develop from season one towards this season where he was so like, a wife, she have to check this box, check that box, and finding a queen and then finding someone that challenged him and who he just, 
god every moment was so sweet i really i think this is the season for me i think season two top season one and i want to say it top charlotte i really <laughs> i really enjoyed this season it was so good and then Eloise finding her love story, her side story. Um, I hope they, they play on that. Something comes from it. I don't know if they can get married. If you know, I know he's below her station, but I that just shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. <laughs> then her and Pence blow out. Oh god. It was something I was waiting. I was waiting for this moment, for this explosion. And then her realization that, you know, maybe Eloise was right. And in a sense, Eloise said, girl, you always hear huh? talking shit about people. Not really. Gossiping about people, you should say. I should say. Gossiping about people. Stuck in her room writing and not really living life, you know. And then Penelope was like, oh, at least I've done something. I've said something. Um, all Eloise does is talk about some stuff. Why? That's... I feel like they both have room to grow you know and now Penn's finally realizing that Colin you know doesn't see her the way she wants him to see her and you know she, she's just gonna have to deal with that she's gonna have to mature grow up be better you know <laughs> um with Eloise I, I really do hope they continue with her love story with the printer guy because that was really cute and they did it and well so i'm i'm rooting for them but this was an awesome season i just i'm so in love with it right now <laughs> it was so great i think i'm gonna rewatch it honestly but it was so it was so much fun guys please like subscribe comment let me know what you guys think did you enjoy the season with me it was so great let me know down in the comments down below and don't forget to check out my what Fat stories and the books to the man that come and me in the introvert store the links are in the description box below and stick around till the end of the video i have a promo don't forget to check that out as well the link will be in the description box below as well and yeah that's it for tonight guys until next time